Hey guys, and welcome to another RuneScape... Wait, no, this is not a RuneScape video. We are in the real world right now. I will show you my face soon, don't you worry. There is a video on there where I have done a gaming setup uh, on my channel, and I, I've showed myself before, so it's not like uh, I'm in Ethos Lab if anyone played Minecraft or watches Minecraft videos. Um, but yeah, besides that, we are doing something very special today. Like I said in, in a few videos ago, or many videos ago, I've said it a few times, I recently got a job, and I am going to use that money, obviously, to save it for stuff, gas, money, food, whatever that comes to uh, my needs, um, but also to build a computer, and I am getting my last paycheck tomorrow. I had uh, some money saved up in there, so I'm starting to order some parts, and I have some parts coming in right now. First one should be a monitor, which I could switch this baby out, this big boob tube right here. Uh, it's pretty old, and I know it's dark over here. I wish I could make it brighter, but I can't. Um, but I, I decided to order the monitor first just so I can actually get some use out of it instead of buying like a motherboard and then not having the other parts. So having a monitor come first is pretty cool, and I can't wait for that, but I can't wait for the whole computer. So before any of you start commenting right now, um, the parts are as follows and I can actually show you on the screen while I talk to you guys the parts are on uh, a PC part list I put them there here they all are they will be in the description down below you guys can all look at it and uh, get the stuff if you really want to you got all the prices you got all the specs all the information right here the only stuff that isn't included in there are two HDMI cords an Ethernet cord um, some other stuff in there but we're gonna build the whole computer in this episode there these episode or this video is gonna be in segments because I obviously don't have the parts right now but towards the end of this video uh, this little setup right here will be a little bit more clean uh, have a different monitor probably this one still but it'll have a bigger monitor here that monitor and possibly right around in this dark area a new computer and that'll be pretty awesome. So once I get all the parts, I'll give you little updates through throughout uh, this video. In the next clip, you should probably see the first part, probably the monitor. And uh, we will start building it. I'll do a time lapse and everything. It'll be cool. And we'll have the final product. So I can't wait to get this all done. It is April, uh, April 20, 23rd. It's the 23rd of April. So uh, bye. Focus. You focus. Not that you really need to. So by, by the end of this video, it'll be all done. But around probably uh, late April, very, very early May, like May 1st or 2nd, I should have the whole thing completed and start playing some games, play RuneScape in high quality, play Skyrim, uh, st uh, other Steam games. I can start doing that sort of thing. So here we are with our first uh, product that is shipped into my house. Okay, so we are in post commentary right now. Uh, this is just gonna be a bunch of clips of me opening stuff, you know, in a funny way, I guess. Me zooming in, trying to be uh, a filmmaker or whatever. Um, but first thing I wanna say, obviously I have the computer built right now as I'm talking. And I can tell you, it's a whole lot of fun to mess around with, to learn all this new stuff. Um, this thing was definitely an experience because I am in college. I'm going into computer science now. That's more of the coding part of it, um, but still learning how to put the, this computer together. I'm still a noob, but I definitely have a lot more knowledge now than I've had, you know, a few days ago. So it, it's really cool. And if you guys ever get a chance to upgrade your setup or switch from Xbox to um, a PC or Wii U to PC, whatever you guys play uh, RuneScape on, definitely build your own computer. It's cheaper, more efficient, and a lot of fun. So, uh, but it also could be bad if you screw up, which I screwed up a few times. I'll say it in the live commentary, and I'll also tell you. Uh, second off, I wanted to tell you that I'm very sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. Like I said, got this new computer to play with, so that's what I've been doing for a while. I've been downloading a bunch of stuff, including editing programs like Photoshop, Sony, Fraps, stuff like that. Now that doesn't take forever, but I still got to get used to this whole uh, thing. 
and fix some issues that I'm having. But now I'm editing this video and it should be up pretty soon. So, so let's go into live commentary where I show you my new monitor and new keyboard. Okay, a little update here where you can see we got the monitor all set up. It's on a different side now. We also got the keyboard, so this is a few days from now, maybe two, from the clips you just saw. It's a very nice keyboard, and you can see it in the PC Part Picker. It has the macro, macro keys, it's mechanical, um, Razer, it's a Razer Death, or not Death Adder, that's a mouse. Razer Black Widow, Ultimate Expert, whatever you want to call it. Um, that, uh, gaming mode, whatever. That's pretty much it. It has a microphone jack, I think, on one side, and uh, another kind of jack. <laughs> Some kind of jack. Um, but yeah, so we got the monitor here. I just want to get used to this uh, setup here. We got my laptop, or really the computer right here, uh, powering this thing. And I got the tower too. So with, with this and a few other things, including the hard drive um, and some other stuff, we have the tower. Of course, it's facing the wrong way. There's nothing in it. It's empty. Uh, the front is pretty, pretty, you know, not much. I don't know how well you can see that there, but it's, I know it's black for you. Okay. So, let's see what we got in here. This is where I'm storing all this crap. Uh, yeah. Oh, processor. The biggest thing. We got the processor in here, including the heat sink and the fan, and uh, all other stuff in there. Today, as I'm recording this, I should be getting the motherboard, the power supply, and one other thing. So I can actually build this whole thing, uh, not including Windows 8, because I still need to get that, and um, the, what is it called? Graphics card. The mo most important part, really. I mean, not most important part in the computer, but most important part for me. But at least I can get it all built and fun stuff like that. So I'll try and do a time lapse, get this thing set up. If not, I'll just give you updates while I'm building it. Um, but yeah, you should soon see this thing try to, uh, or you should soon see it transform in a little bit. Okay, so we got everything here other than the graphics card, which is probably the most important part to me. Um, we got the processor already in here, besides the heat sink and the fan. And we got a bunch of other stuff like the RAM, the optical drive, uh, the hard drive, the, uh, the what's it called? The, um, the 600 watt, the power supply, that one. And the tower is right over here. I don't know if you could see it. So, yeah, we should get to building and let's start the time lapse. So here's the time lapse. The second person that you see in here is my dad. He knows a lot about computers, and I definitely needed his help uh, with this whole thing. I screwed up the process. I almost screwed up the processor really bad uh, with the thermal paste, but we got that fixed quickly. And I don't remember any other problems, but uh, it was a fun build. Didn't take that long. A few problems, but we got them all solved. And the graphics card isn't included in this time lapse. Okay, so live update right now. We got everything plugged in. As you saw, that was my dad, who knows a lot about computers. He's built many, knows quite a bit about them. So, uh, we got everything plugged in, other than the graphics card, which is not here yet. It will be in the video. I'm not going to split this up in two parts. Maybe I will. Who, who knows? Um, but I don't have the, graphic, the graphics card yet. It should be coming in two days, which is a huge wait for me. Um, but the good thing about it is I have work tomorrow, and then the next day, which it's supposed to come, I don't have work. So I can just completely focus on uh, this thing right here. Right now, uh, we just have the power supply plugged in. We get the power plugged in, the CD-ROM, optical drive, whatever you want to call it, and the hard drive, which is plugged in. That took us a while to figure out how to plug in. Um, we have the CPU right here. I almost screwed up big time with the thermal paste. It wasn't a problem putting it in, putting the clamp down, um, but when I was putting the heat sink, which had the already, you know, thermal paste on it, I, I put it on and I took it off, put it on, put it off, which left, you know, thermal paste on it. Um, but I think that's good. Who knows? Um, my dad helped me put it on, and that's sort of where he took over, to be honest, uh, for, for most of it. We got the RAM plugged in, one here, one here, 
Still have two more slots to put in, both at four gigabytes. Um, we got, uh, that's power. Uh, we got one fan. This is the outtake or int whatever you want to call it. This is the intake. Um, let's see. The fan is pointing at the bottom, of course. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing I need, like I said, is a graphics card. Once I plug that in, we're good to go. I should be getting the operating system tomorrow, but I still can't do anything about that because uh, this doesn't have a video card on it, so I can't really put it into my computer. Uh, so everything looks nice, looks really cool, uh, nice and clean right now. I'm just going to hide the cables, fix them, zip tie them. I bought zip ties, but apparently uh, the, the, the case came with zip ties as well as the power supply, which made sense. And they're all black zip ties, which is pretty cool. Here's this side right here, uh, the motherboard, of course. Um, the uh, hard drive gonna try and hide all the wires right here because I don't have many other you know hard drives or solid state drives which speaking of solid state they're pretty tiny so I don't know how they're supposed to fit in here because look at the size of that thing there's my hand looks pretty nice okay so yeah that's pretty much it I'll see you in the next clip when when I probably have the graphics card so yeah Hope you enjoy that little time lapse. Okay, quick update because I am bored as hell and I just recorded a whole clip and it didn't record. So, uh, as you saw from the last clip, maybe half a clip ago, I don't remember. This is the day after that last clip. Um, there were cables everywhere, all over the place. So I did some sort of cable management. I haven't zip tied anything other than uh, this thing for the case fan. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's all I zip tied. Uh, there's a huge mess right here, but this is a better mess than what it was before. So I pretty much fished everything. Uh, it, it, it was coming throughout the, this hole, the case cables and some other cables, the SATA cables. I just fished them out and under through that tiny hole right there. I probably could have done it here, but eh, who cares. Um, here, and then made it all nice and neat. It doesn't look neat, um, but I will zip tie it. Um, and get some better better uh, airflow, I guess. There's no fan down here. There's a fan right there and a fan right there. So that's pretty darn cool. We got a lot of stuff uh, completed. Uh, I haven't hooked up this yet, which gives power to, playing it with my foot, the power to the motherboard. I haven't hooked that up yet because I know it's going to uh, follow my flashlight here. It's going to go all the way across here and you know what is right here uh, the graphics card so I'm gonna put the graphics card probably in this blue slot right there and if I ever wanted to have a second one I could put it there um, but yeah I need to figure out some way to get that across and up I might go uh, like that way around who knows I'll figure it out but right now case is looking really cool I'll just zip tie it tomorrow of course you'll see it in the next clip due to the power of editing um, but yeah I'll get this all done tomorrow, I got my day off, I can focus on this, download all the drivers, download a Windows 8, um, maybe try a game or two, who knows how many drivers I'm going to be downloading. Uh, so um, I'll probably figure out what drivers to download, but if you guys think I'm missing some uh, some drivers, because I, I, I'm not too familiar with downloading them other than the CD that the motherboard gave me, plus um, uh, Windows 8, I think they give you some drivers. And uh, my friend might know some essentials that I need. But if you think I'm missing any or something uh, special about my bill, again, PC Part Picker link down in the description below, uh, that'd be much appreciated because I want to get this thing up and running to its best ability, uh, everything nice. So here it is, looking pretty cool. Uh, you will see me in the next clip with a graphics card unless something huge happens. And we're done. Not really. I mean, I still got to download a bunch of stuff. But I have the flashlight here just in case it gets dark. But we got um, a bunch of programs being installed. I got Steam, WinRAR, VLC, RuneScape, of course, BitTorrent. Uh, not all oh, BitTorrent. No, I don't have BitTorrent. What are you talking about? Um, but there's the computer. I didn't show the graphics card because I had a few problems with it. Um, but we got those uh, fixed pretty quickly. And it is pretty noisy. I don't know how you can, or if you can hear it. Uh, I could definitely fix that in videos so you won't hear the fan. 
Um, but if it's so quiet, then no point in me fixing a very, very quiet noise. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess there's your best view in there. Uh, but I got a bunch of fans in there. I mean, not really accessory kind of fans, but uh, the two fans on the graphics card, the outputs, uh, the output fan, the input fan, and the processor fan. So everything, it works. You download Windows 8 pretty quickly. I'm still getting used to Windows 8. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I made it well in the end. I mean, I have a bunch of clips on my phone that I'm just going to have to mash together on this computer, most likely. I just got to get Sony Vegas, um, you know, Camtasia, perhaps, uh, Audacity, a bunch of other programs to help me edit this, and hopefully it turns out well. And if you did, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It'll help me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below on questions you have about the computer or maybe you're giving me some sort of advice really doesn't matter to me do whatever you want but uh, I love reading comments so yeah that's gonna be it hope to see you guys next time